This is Lone Star Conference Media Day. Jeremy Bryant here from uh, the Janelle Center, Stevens Arena, over at Angelo State University. And uh, we've got some of the ASU Bells here, Coach uh, Renee Shippey, as uh, Kaya Gray is here, a transfer out of Auburn. Uh, another new Bell here with us is uh, Marquita Daniels out of South Alabama. And then uh, a couple returners, Maddie Greenwood, uh, second year out of uh, Derby, Kansas. And then uh, Kiana Kelly, who's been a four-year starter here at ASU, is back uh, for her senior season. So start off with uh, Coach Shippey. Um, of course, we were talking about this earlier. One seat closer to the scores table, which means head coach now this year. Uh, exciting time to take over after the best year in school history. Um, yes, sir. Uh, very, very exciting time. Um, we have a great group that's returning, and we have a great new group. So uh, I'll tell you what, I've been learning a lot, but there's no better bunch than I'd rather be coaching for my first year season as a head coach. Uh, word is out. Bells are pretty good. <laughs> Obviously, it makes things a little easier in the recruiting process, but it also means that uh, when you face teams in the Lone Star Conference, there's going to be a bigger bullseye, a bigger target on your program now. No, for sure. Um, and, you know, the returners, they help kind of set that precedent um, of just the tradition and just um, making sure that we were at the top. And um, we feel like our newcomers that have came in, they've bought into everything that we've been preaching and teaching. And um, like I said, our returners have been great leaders for that. And um, it is it is an exciting, exciting time. OK, as you mentioned, all the newcomers and you know, it's always uh when you have so many new players trying to find that chemistry, it's always tough and difficult. And what, what have you seen so far in these first few weeks of practice? Um, I think the biggest thing that we've seen is just the chemistry um, off the court. They just they love each other. That we we preach family and positivity every day, but they're the ones that make sure that that happens. And you can just see it how they want to hang out with each other, and then it obviously trickles in too on the court. And um, that's probably the most impressive thing that I've seen so far, besides obviously their talent. A lot of talent on the team now. Just out of curiosity, you played basketball at Central Missouri. Do you sometimes get out there and show them? Do you have any game left? <laughs> maybe I should ask them. Uh, please don't ask them. <laughs> I was going to say, I work with the post players a lot, and sometimes I get out there and I get real out of breath, and they all laugh at me. So you try to sub someone else on. Okay, you, sh you show them this, but um, I try not to get out there anymore. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> all right, let's go down to our players, uh, Kaya. Kaya Gray, uh, who uh, came here from Auburn. So kind of tell me the story, uh, how you got here at ASU. Uh, <laughs> I got here, um, I went to Auburn and, you know, it wasn't really a good fit for me. And then I talked to Coach Baker, talk, I came on a visit, talked to Coach Baker, talked to Coach Shippey, and I loved it. It was a better fit for me, and that's that's how I got here. Okay. So, you know, spending some time in a Division One program, and, and you're, there's several of them, uh, transfers from D1 schools. So tell me, just from what you've seen of your teammates, how the talent compares to where you've been before. I mean, is how it stacks up? Um, I feel like a lot of my teammates, uh, a lot of us came from D1s, so I feel like a lot of us, it's, it's not really a big difference because a lot of us did come from D1s. So to me, it, it's kind of the same. Like, we're as good as they, they are at my old school. Uh, and one question I want to ask, and we'll go on to somebody, uh, next player, but just one question because, you know, you always have a different role when you come to a new program. So how difficult is that, or how easy has it been to transition to a new role for everybody? Um, I don't think it's easy. It's kind of challenging for us. Uh, like she was saying, we have a, no, a whole new team, so it's different for us, but we're buying into it. Okay. Let's go down to Marquita, who's uh, from South Alabama, uh, another first-year player at Angelo State. Uh, you and I were talking earlier from the ATL, going from Atlanta, Georgia to San Angelo, Texas. Little bit of an adjustment there, culture. As <laughs> she said, big. So, what do you think? I know it's, it's small town compared to ATL. So, what do you what do you like about San Angelo? Um, I mean, well, uh, as I stated earlier, um, just the environment, the atmosphere, the friendly people here, um, ASU in general, this program, the basketball program, and my teammates, of course. Um, Mexican yeah. food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, coming from the Sun Belt Conference to the Lone Star Conference, uh, talk about the just you know this is really a Lone Star Conference of women's basketball is pretty I would have to think similar to what you've seen before in the Sun Belt. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's to me for this team. I feel like uh, since some some of my teammates are way more dedicated, 
um, to the game, I feel like it's it's pretty much the same. And um, and yeah, so but uh, everybody's pretty much dedicated, and I feel like it'll be way better here. So. <laughs> All right, last question for Marquita. Just uh, real quick, uh, what, what's uh, what do you think is going to make this team special from what you've seen early on? Um, our team chemistry. Uh, we get along with each other a lot. Everybody loves each other, like Coach Shippy said. Um, yeah, we bond. Er ever since the summertime, we've been bonding, and it's like we automatically click when we first met each other. And so the team chemistry, yeah. All right. Uh, go down to Maddie Greenwood, who's a senior out of Derby, Kansas, second year here, here at Angelo State. Um, so now kind of a different role for you. You're, you know, you and Kiana down there being seniors, you know, captains, leaders of the team. Um, talk about uh, what you remember most from last year and what you take from last year kind of uh, into this year. Um, what I remember most about being uh, last year is just being part of a, a really great team and being on a historic run. And I think that's helped me carry it over into this year and being a leader for my team and knowing what um, I want to do and continue for the team. Okay. So now that you've had kind of year under your belt around Coach Shippey and uh, the coaching staff, uh, what it, you know for the newcomers, what do you tell them? This is what we expect here at ASU. For the newcomers, we just we ex I wouldn't say we expect a lot out of them, but at the same time we do. They they came in. There's what two of us that returned that actually played, but act three returners this year, and um, we just you know we want the best for them and we want the best for us. And I think them coming in is really going to help us be really good this year. And lastly, uh, Kiana Kelly, who's I guess you could say the, the the elder statesman on the the team here. She's the veteran, the seasoned veteran. I guess a better way to say it. Uh, started. Can you believe it? Now your senior year, it just seems like yesterday. You're a freshman, or it doesn't seem like it was yesterday. You know, <laughs> it does feel like yesterday. Time goes by really fast. And to be a part of so many great teams is just, wow, like I'm mind blown. Just from how much this program's grown from your freshman year to your senior year? Oh, um, well, my freshman year, we had a few hiccups and we started off okay and ended, you know, not the way everybody would want to end. We didn't play the way everybody would want to play their first year. Like my my first year wasn't the best year, but it was a, I want to say it, it, it was a growing year. Yeah, for me, especially coming in as a freshman, you learn a lot. You learn how you don't want to be and you learn how hard you need to work in order to be in the spot you want to be in. Okay. Um, so I guess last thought would be, uh, so now, what do you, you know, after last year, you had so close. You get Sweet 16, you did, you won a conference tournament championship, a conference championship. Just kind of talk about what are what are some of the goals? What do you, what do you guys talked about maybe within the team with what you guys are shooting for this year? Um, our goals are definitely to go past that, you know, beyond past that. And we work hard and we're, we're trying to get there every day. We put, it, put in um, blood, sweat, and tears on the court, you know. Every, everybody's going at each other like they would in the conference and we're getting better and we're going to definitely make it. Okay, we'll go back to Coach Shippey just to kind of wrap things up here on Lone Star Conference Media Day. Uh, LSE preseason poll, fourth in the Lone Star Conference. After, you know, two back-to-back -back, back -back seasons that are really a lot of success. But I guess I, I know you and most coaches don't take a lot of, I mean, a lot of stock in the preseason poll. I guess your thoughts? Um, I mean, first off, the Lone Star Conference is one of the toughest conference in Division Two. So, um, I mean, we are we are grateful that we were picked fourth place in this conference. Um, but just as you said, um, as a coach and as a program, we don't take a lot of stock into preseason polls. It's all about how you finish and how you compete all year long. Um, but with that being said, our goals are exactly what Kiana Kelly said. Our goal is to make it to another conference championship um, and to make it as far as we possibly can in the NCAA tournament. So 
Uh, and I feel like with this team, they understand that goal and they strive every single day to make sure that they achieve it. Get a couple more of those. Yes, sir. I wore the ring today. I wear it sometimes um, just to kind of be a reminder. I hope that they can look at it and kind of the ones that don't have one. Um, I hope that that can be their goal to get one and the ones that already have one um, just to be a goal to get another one. All right, there you go. Renee Shippey off the Angelo State Bells here at Lone Star Conference Media Day.